Hello everyone. I'm so excited today. We're going to do this paint chip lesson and turn the paint chips into a winter village. Let's grab our materials and let's get started. To begin with, you'll need some sort of paint chips. These ones that I happen to have, these are the HG, HGTV home ones. They happen to have been donated to me, so I got a very large donation and I've been trying to figure out a fun way to use them. We're going to be taking each paint chip individually and turning it into some sort of a building. So you can see these ones, the rooftops didn't really change very much. And then I started getting a little more creative with my rooftops, like this one. I cut off part of the triangle and then I glued on a chimney this one you can see I ended up cutting away part of it to leave a steeple or a little peak. This one has a flat top, it's completely cut away. And then I, this one I did the most cutting to make a church steeple. So you can kind of see there's quite a bit cut away from it. Um, the nice parts about these is that they're really smooth and so they handle Sharpie marker really well. And then I ended up using some of the extra ones to make some creative details like a pickup truck with a tree and some extra greenery for our village. To design them, we are using these holiday winter village worksheets from Art with Mrs. E. She has a beautiful selection here. And in your packet, there'll be ones that have festive homes, as well as like downtown city street buildings. And you can see at this plant shop, it's got some beautiful, really small details. Just like anything, you can take these and format them to your own ideas and your own wishes. And things that are outside of the building shape then could be added on by cutting and gluing them. So you'll want to use a Sharpie. Let's do one together. There we go. You're gonna do that until you have a nice collection of varying buildings. And now we're gonna build a background for them. For the background, you wanna think about if you're going to be laying it out horizontally or vertically. You also could even create some depth by doing some rows, like you could have a row here and then there could be a road in between and have a row down here. So ultimately you wanna think about where is the horizon line so that you can paint your sky. Decide is your horizon line gonna be flat or if it's gonna have any hills to it. I'm just using some temper paint here. So I have some like turquoise and a dark blue and a purple. You could make it daytime, nighttime, sunrise, sunset, all up to you. Maybe I'll leave a hill and using horizontal strokes, go back and forth. If you wanna add some snowflakes, you can use the handle of a smaller brush and just dip in and add some dots. You can also decide if you wanted to add any additional details with the paint. In this example, I had added a sidewalk and a road which would give me the option of doing those two rows like we talked about, where I have a row up top and a row down below. It also even gives me a space to display a vehicle. You can plan out to have some greenery too. They could even go behind buildings like that, or they can go next to buildings. 
There is no limit to the amount of creativity you can use in this lesson. Whatever you can dream up and cut out of these paint chips, you can add to your winter scene. Simply glue things in place when you are all set. I can't wait to see these winter village paint chip themed project. Thanks so much for joining us.